I know at one point you had gotten in the streets, just like many other people who are from the hood. And I'm not talking using drugs, you're selling drugs. Yes. Uh, how old was you when you got in the streets? Um, I would say around the same time, like like 11, 12. Um, we start, I started to see different things. Like I, I, I was still, I was still, God still had a hold on me as far as the church and my family, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and I still played football and you know what I'm saying? And, um, I was good at art, stuff like that. But then when I started seeing different people, like dudes with these, these bank rolls and cars, jewelry, I was, I love, I love jewelry a lot. I thought that that made a person. You know, I would, mm -hmm. I would later on in life, you know, sh show that I thought that that was something that made up a human. You know what I mean? But at that point in time, I, I was like, it was like I was lured into something with jewelry, money and women and cars. And once I knew what it took to get those things, I I didn't know that a job got that type of thing. You know, I didn't know that working a job I just, because I, like I was telling you, we never left the project. You feel what I'm saying? So when I would see this, I'm like, oh, well, he keep running over there, picking something up out the bush and then running to this person. And then this person standing there, they, they are antsy. And then he just do this all day. He's selling dope. I'm, that's, I'm, that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm going to do that. Got you. Yeah. Okay. I know at some point you did get shot. Yeah. How old were you? I was... 15. I had just turned 15. Is, is it a result of you being on the street or was it yeah. you just caught in the crossfires? Nah. Um, after I found out about the drugs and the street stuff, um, I was, it started messing with me, my head. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept, I could have stayed cool you know what I mean, and, and and stayed on the path that I was on, but I kind of got bought out by, you know, I, I I like to say the devil came and approached me, and I went for it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't wise enough to stay the path. You know, like some of my some people I did. It was very few, but you know, I could have been one of the ones that stayed, the, that walked the walk. But when he came, man, it was so tantalizing, or it was so. I was very influenced. I, I I was influenced so bad. You feel what I'm saying? Like uh, persuaded, so to speak. You know what I mean? To oh, you want this? And it was it was like look at it. You know what I mean? And and as a young person, I was like, man, I'm I'm, I'm headed that way. And so, man, after I started hustling like that, one day I was going to school. I wasn't getting my work that good, and I had to go to summer school, man. And when I on my first day of summer school, we went. And I I had some dope to sell, you know what I'm saying? I had done got fresh, you know what I'm saying? I had like this Giorgio uh, money shades on with this polo outfit, polo sport outfit, you know what I'm saying? I went to school, I went to summer school, and man, they was like, we finna go get something to eat. And I was like, nah, I'm about to go back to the hood. I gotta go, you know what I'm saying, get out this pack or whatever. Mm -hmm. So man, I ended up going back to the hood. <laughs> and when I got there, it was some guys there. We was all trying to sell doping, you know, doing whatever we do to cut school and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I didn't want to be, you know, a good, a good boy or whatever. So I went back like a bad child. I started going against what my parents would have wanted. I, I, it was playing out of my head, in my in my own head, like it was playing out. So when I got back, dude, I get into it with a, a guy. A dude got them say some shit to me. It hurt my feelings, plus scared me. He was like, yo, what, nigga? Woo, woo. You feel what I'm saying? And so I told dude, like, all right, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? I, and when I get back, it's on. I go tell my cousin. You feel me? I go to Bankhead Court, tell my cousin, look, somebody just did some shit to me. You know, they, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to get off. Dude, I'm here talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was so premeditated. I didn't have to go back and do anything. I had spent time, time had passed. 
I didn't even have to do it. I didn't have to, I didn't have to go back. I, I was so into living out this gangster persona or this drug dealer project kid persona. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I put myself in that position. I, I'm wise. I was wise enough to know that at that age, but I, it was something that was fucking with my head. I don't know. So we smoking weed all that day, young smoking weed. And then my cousin, my cousin was like, what's that shit you were saying early? I was like, Oh, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was like, get them two guns. He got them two guns, man. And went back. Should we pistol whoop the nigga? Papa shot in the ground, man. Nigga piss all on itself and shit. So by the time we leaving our departments, everybody like that fucked up, Ruan. That fucked up you did some shit like that. Was, y'all went out here when the nigga made me goddamn cry and tried to, you know what I'm saying, pump me out of, you know. So we leave. I'm like, let go, my cousin. Like, let go. We leave. Man, dude just, nigga just came out the apartments. I'm like, y'all some puss ass nigga. Bah, 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 bah. Shit. I was sitting in the car. But when I seen him coming, I knew the dude. You know what I mean? And goddamn. I was, and I seen him pull out the gun. My, my cousin was like, who that is? I was like, oh, that's Charlie J. Pull out the gun. So I'm, I see him reach for his gun, reach for mine. So when I'm reaching like this, he was coming this way. When I reach for mine, he pop, pop. You feel me? I just thought, I ended up shooting up the dashboard. And goddamn, everybody busting at each other. By the time like, we get through, bro, I had done got hit in my back. Shit, man. And I just started seeing, like, First we was chilling and I didn't know. Then I was like, and I started feeling my stomach. That shit felt numb. Then that shit got hot. Then I started throwing up. Like that shit looked like yellow grits. I'm like, fuck, this nigga that hit me. You know what I mean? I just went crazy in the car, bro. And I was like, man, I done drove back over here on some stupid ass nigga shit, man, and got shot. Man, we drove off, man. And I, I, when we got to the hospital, um, Shit, we was trying to, we went, actually, we went in the wrong way. And the lady was telling my cousin, no, y'all got to go in the emergency room. By the time she was telling him that, I done had to pull myself over to the driver, to the steering wheel. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to pull off because I'm like, man, I can't die right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he pulled, he pushed me back in. We drive back around to the emergency room. And when he, he jumped out again to go get help. But I, I, I was like, I ain't waiting this time. So when he got out and ran and out, hey, man, my cousin, you feel me? I had done climbed out the car, and I wasn't aware that once you get hit in your respiratory area, that it's no, like, it hit at an angle to where it tore up all the tissue going out in an angle, you know, from the back to the front of the stomach. You feel what I'm saying? So when I jumped out the car, I instantly fell. Boom. So when I fell, I still wasn't chilling. I started crawling toward the door. And the door opened. You know how it opens. And when the door opened, I seen a wheelchair. I climbed up in the wheelchair, rolled in that bitch. And I told them, folks, shit, I'm shot. Somebody saved me. And goddamn, they took me in the back room. And they was they thought they had to pick me up to put me on that iron table. And they got jumped up on that motherfucker and laid down and told them folks to get to it. You know, they they all, I heard the doctors was talking about how courageous and brave I was. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to live so bad, but yeah, that's how it happened. Wow. How many surgeries did you have? One, two. I think like two. Yeah, because I had to have the shit bag. You know, uh, that was the reason why I was li- I couldn't understand what the fuck that was at that age. And I was, I was totally lost. Cause when I when I woke because like I think like oh well in surgery I ended up waking up because the drugs wasn't enough you know what I mean and I just it was my 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 uh, my 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 guts was open and it was pent up like you know they had my skin on the pins and it was open for you know and I ended up waking up and passing back out you know what I'm saying they hit mm. me with some more drugs and you know what I'm saying and like when I when I came to I had a damn shit bag on. It was a little pink piece of intestine t- tissue sitting out on my stomach. You know what I'm saying? I woke up and saw that, and that shit. I was, I just started crying really, really bad, and I, I didn't understand what what that was. You know, at that age, 
You know what I mean? And the lady was like, this is the reason why you're alive. And I was like, and I thought I was on some pop shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, I'm going to get ready to go. And then when I got up and looked down, I was like, what the fuck this is? And the lady was like, no, calm down. I cursed the lady out. I mean, to the point where she cried. And I just didn't know who to release that on. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, I'm sorry for how I talked to her. And, you know, I was just trying, I was just lashing out from what I saw. Wow. Okay. Um, just for clarity, for anybody who is watching, listening to this interview, you literally have one of those coloscopy bags where uh, you're going to the bathroom. On myself. In a bag. Yeah. yeah. Wow. At that age, it was, I, I, I didn't know who to talk to about it or what set me up for that much trauma. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I knew God and church and stuff, and I heard great things about him, but I didn't know that he would let that happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I thought he was strong enough to stop stuff like that. You know, I wasn't privy to the information that I have now about how strong and powerful and how much free will that humans have. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, at mm -hmm, that age, mm -hmm. I was, I was discombobulated. You know what I mean? I was like lost all these. I lost pounds. I was little. Uh, the bag was on. Uh, it was it was a crazy time for me.